Thank you, officer. Thanks a lot. Get in the car. Uh-uh. Get in the car. No way. Ethan. Get in the car. I refuse to get in the car when you're like this. Like what? You're mad at me. I am not mad at you. Yes, you are. Your, your nostrils are doing that thing. What thing? You know, they kind of... Get in the car! What if you lose control and crash into a tree or something, and then what? I am not going to lose control. How, how, how should I trust you? How do you know? What if you get this uncontrollable urge to smack me repeatedly? I am not going to smack you. Just get in the car. I've had enough trauma for one evening. Thank you. <laughs> You've had enough trauma? Yes. The stigma of incarceration will haunt me for years. Get in the car. Ethan, I am too tired and too pissed off. Aha! To be having this argument in the middle of a police station parking lot in nowhere, New Hampshire. I'm cold. And I want to go home. I like the cold. It feels good. It's, it's sobering me up. I feel more awake than I've ever felt in my entire life. What were you thinking? What in the world were you thinking? I don't know. You don't know? Were you trying to kill yourself? Huh? Were you? No, I don't know. Maybe? 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 Look, A, I said I don't know. You selfish boy. You stupid, selfish boy. You know what? Good. Get it all out. At least we're talking. This is better than the nostril thing. How dare you be reckless with your life? Shh. How dare you? Shh. You're disturbing the peace. You want them to throw us both in jail? What's my life worth if you trash yours? Huh? Did you ever think about that? I'll have to live the next 70 years haunted every goddamn day by your pimply, ghostly self. We're not just sibs, you moron. We're soulmates. I'm sorry. You drink yourself sick and go hitching on the interstate. Are you crazy? Have I taught you nothing? Hey, I said I'm sorry. Never mind being drunk and weaving on the shoulder with cars and trucks whizzing by at 80 miles an hour. Never mind that. What if some crazy person picked you up? A Jeffrey Dahmer type or something. What? And took you away so you were never heard from again. Some Boy Scouts come across your jawbone in the woods. You know, you're lucky the police picked you up and threw you in jail. You, you could have been roadkill. You're crazy, you know that? You've been watching too much television. <laughs> Don't mock me. There are crazy people in this world. They're not just created by the media. They exist. There are bad and sick people in this world who want nothing more than to destroy people's happiness. <laughs> Stop laughing! It's not funny! Ow, Stop laughing! Ow. ow! It hurt. Good! I can explain. Nothing you could possibly say. Aren't you even gonna give me my due process? I don't see why I should. I'm just a kid. Oh, God, is that your excuse? Is that your lame-ass excuse? Kids are supposed to act out and do reckless things when they're young. If not now, when I'm old? When I'm, when I'm 40? The key is surviving long enough to attain wisdom. All right, so let's chalk it up to the folly of youth, okay? I I've learned my lesson. I drank a whole lot of really shitty bourbon with some asshole I don't even like whose approval I inexplicably crave, and, and blew Pizza Hut all down my shirt and onto my brand new running shoes. Haven't I been humiliated enough? I just got these like a week ago. If you'd killed yourself. If you'd gotten yourself killed, 
for some stupid peer pressure, macho, adolescent, alcoholic misadventure. If I'd lost you because of it, if I'd lost you, Pizza Hut, huh? No wonder you smell like a dairy farmer. <laughs> I can't even smell it anymore. Trust me. Oh uh, yeah? And why should I trust you? Because if you don't, brother, you're a goner. You're toast. Now get in the car. Are you still mad at me? Get in the fucking car? Alright. Oh, uh, can we stop and get something along the way? I... I'm starving. Maybe. Ugh. You stink. <laughs>